Aloha everyone, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly. Um, we're going to do a reading today just with the energies of the Virgo full moon. I know that was yesterday, um, but I just want to see what the themes are, what themes are for today, who we have as our guides for today, and um, just the wonderful things that are going to be brought to us um, as a collective. And um, so let's begin. I'm going to be using a few different cards. So the first one is the Keepers of the Light. This will decide um, which guides want to work with us today. Um, I'm also doing the Quan Yin Oracle cards because I love Quan Yin. You can see her behind me. <laughs> and then we'll, um, we'll talk to the mermaids today. I had a really good sunrise today at the ocean. I saw some dolphins and things and it made me think of mermaids. So that's what we'll do. So we'll start off with which um, guides we have. I'm gonna pick three, okay? Oh, okay. Two came out of the deck right away. And one more, please. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we got Holy Amethyst wants to work with us today, and that's Divine Alchemy. We've got Commander Ashtar, which is a call to action and then Joan of Arc, which is the voice of truth. Very nice. Okay, so already I'm seeing that the theme for this, those that want to work with us are moving us into the next level, right? So we have the divine alchemy, the holy amethyst is working. Um, think of that purple flame or the purple um, transmuting flame, like we're being transmuted as a people and we're moving through this um, transformation. I know recently I've been in hermit mode and um, since the full moon yesterday it's come to be that um, I feel like more in action, more available, um, ready to be in my being and then also do. So Commander Ashtar is asking us to um, a call to action. So take charge, lead by example, walk your talk, right? And then Joan of Arc is going to help us voice our truth to stand strong, find your purpose. So this full moon energy, um, which is 72 hours before the full moon and 72 hours after the full moon is going to carry us into this transformation. Okay, next up are the mermaids, they say, all right. <laughs> Let's see what the mermaids have to tell us. And we'll pick three for these two. We'll kind of do past, present, and future, so past. Got one. Okay, two more, please. All right. Oh, that one wants to go. Oh, too many. And one more, please. There we go. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so past is divination. So this has to do with prophecy, your fate, um, destiny, and your future fortune. So those things, we've had the Mercury retrograde, so um, this mermaid has helped us to um, look back at um, what is our prophecy, what is our destiny, to reflect on that and then move into that. So our past is showing what we're moving into right now. Honor the masculine is the present. Ladies and gentlemen, um, honoring the divine masculine, honoring the men in your world, um, respecting men, embracing the masculine divine, because that's what we're moving into in an energy, is that the, the men are coming into their divine um, spirit, to their divine um, being. And this is a softer man than we know of wars and soldiers and, and whatever. This is men that are balanced in their spirit and this is our inner masculine as well so we want to be balanced in that inner masculine and so that's what's happening in the present so we're we're merging the divine masculine with the divine feminine um, we're embracing the masculine in, in our world both inside ourselves and outside so that's beautiful okay the last one is Yamaya okay 
and Yamaya, um, you can even see it's the the mermaid mother, um, grandmother even, um, with her with her baby. And so this is excuse the construction outside, <laughs> but we're all under construction, are we not? So um, this is the primordial forces. So this is moving into our future. This is the the part of us the I live in Hawaii so the Amakua that part of us that's our ancestors our grandmother our um, our primordial energy that energy that the Kundalini that we we think about um, that that comes up and opens into uh, a creative um, manifestation so this is is opening the way for us and we're going to do that through what is our nature? What is ancient in us? What is the the part of us that is um, the part of us that has lived forever? The part of us that has um, always been and always will be. And so that's what we're moving into. That's the um, so we have our prophecy and fate from the divination card. Right now we're honoring the masculine and we're moving into that primordial force where those two things are together. It's like the DNA. Um, and so it's, it's being in this perfect harmony. So wonderful cards so far. All right, and Quan Yin. We'll do three for Quan Yin too. Okay, okay there's one. And so um, past is the dance of the butterfly queen. Present is here the yellow tiger mother. And the future is immortal treasures. Okay. So dance of the butterfly queen has to do with um, transformation, which we're, we have been talking about. So. Um, we're all going through this transformation. Butterflies go through multiple phases and this this dance that Kuan Yin as the butterfly queen does comes through our life and allows us to transform and it can be a really beautiful thing even when we're cutting out things that we're not meant to have. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then present is here the yellow tiger mother so yellow tiger mother always has to do with action so um, Kuan Yin in this form is is that um, ferocious mother that um, will protect you over anything um, and so she's asking you to move into action which has to do with commander Ashtar that we had in the beginning and so um, now we move into action and we're safe and protected because we have this tiger mother that is surrounding us, embracing us. Um, even if we didn't have mothers in this lifetime, Kuan Yin comes in as this divine mother while we're honoring the masculine. Okay, and so both pieces of that puzzle are together. And then the result, our future result, is immortal treasures. Immortal treasures is that we have this, this divine beauty. Um, the, this pearl that is within us and that's the divine spark the divine light it's the the treasure that we have to give to the world so this message is very spiritual in that um, whatever it is that you have to bring to the world now is the time so now is the time to get into action and your result of that is this primordial and immortal um, benefit you know that you have this forever you're coming into your soul self and that's being presented now in the program okay so or the matrix you know the world that we live in now it's becoming reality and so um, 
so yeah, I'm really excited about this. This has to do with inner self transformation. Some people may be in relationships and so you want to honor the masculine, etc. But what I'm seeing from this particular reading is that um, it's really about becoming your own divine self. So that self-sufficiency and how you get to that self-sufficiency is relying on those that are um, gone before us who have entered into spirit, who have that wisdom, tapping into source her or his self, <laughs> itself, right? And we have these wonderful people who have gone before us, Holy Amethyst, Commander Ashtar, and Joan of Arc, to help us speak those truths, to help bring ourselves into the world um, with this new transformation that we've just gone through. So very excited for all of you. I'm going to try to do these readings more often. And um, please do like and share my page, The Whispering Dragonfly. And um, feel free to contact me if you want a private reading that's more personalized. Um, you can just DM me or... Um, yeah, that sounds good. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Aloha.